I tested ChatGPT, Claude and Gemini on real academic tasks, head to head, not just summaries, but real research work. I paid for all three pro versions and gave them the same prompts on academic writing, literature review and data analysis. Then I rated each for accuracy, depth and citation reliability. The results were not what I expected. Claude crushed document analysis, ChatGPT nailed citations and Gemini, well, let's just say it surprised me in one test. But the AI that performed worst in one task ended up being the best in another task. Let me show you. Before we start with the video, a quick introduction. If you don't know me yet, hi, I'm Einod. I'm a third year PhD student at Imperial College London and I made it my mission to teach you every secret in academia and AI video by video for all my social media channels. Let's start with the testing framework. So I created three academic prompts that mirror real academic tasks. When I compared the outputs, I focused on evaluating the following things. One, accuracy of information. Two, depth and sophistication of analysis. Three, structure and organization, four, citation practices, and five, overall coherence and readability. So let's begin with the first category, which is academic writing. We want to see which of the tools ChatGPT, Gemini, or Cloud AI is better in academic writing. All three models received the same prompt, which you can see here on the screen. They were all asked to write a 500 word introduction on a research paper on climate change in marine biodiversity. I evaluated structure, academic tone, and depth of analysis. So when I looked at the results, I can say that ChatGPT did a really good job in writing coherent sentences. Overall, it sounds really good, the word that it used, and the overall information is also good. But, and here's the thing, when you read the text of ChatGPT, it lacks an academic edge. You know how, like, when you do academic writing, things need to be detailed and in-depth, and that in-depth is lacking a ChatGPT's answer. If we look at the results of Claude AI, we can see that Claude AI is also very coherent, also has great uh, sentence structure, it conveys the information in a great way, like ChatGPT, but it has this lack of academic depth that ChatGPT has comes with Claude AI. So I was really surprised pleasantly by how good it sounds and how academic it sounds and I also feel like the way Claude writes is more authentic than the way ChatGPT writes. So you know sometimes when you read a ChatGPT text you're like okay well <laughs> this is a little too academic like I wouldn't have written it like this but like with Claude it sounds more natural, more authentic and in turn more usable than for academic text. So we have great coherence and great depth with Claude AI. And then when we look at Gemini, we can see that out of all these three models, Gemini performed the worst at this stage that it is right now, because well, whilst the sentence structure was good, obviously, it severely lacked that academic depth and information. And out of all these three models, that was just more on an undergrad level and it does not fit into a research paper, what Gemini produced there. So the clear winner of this round is Claude AI. Let's move on to the second category, data analysis. I tested the AI's ability to interpret data and suggest statistical approaches. The prompt asked all these AI models to analyze electric vehicle adoption trends and suggest appropriate tests. So electric vehicle adoption, just as a side note, means how fast people are getting used to electric vehicles and how fast they decide to get one by themselves. So how fast they adopt an electric vehicle, basically. So that was the prompt. Now let's look at the results we got. So when I evaluated the results, I again looked at the accuracy of the results, how sophisticated the answer is, but also at the depth of analysis, the structure of the recommendations, and just overall the entire answer as it is. So let's look at ChatGPT first. So ChatGPT's results were always accurate, well-structured, and even when we look at how accurate their responses are, it was always able to provide accurate responses and gave great recommendations on how to statistically analyze um, this problem. So ChatGPT would suggest statistical tests, that will match the data type and this way it really helps to do the data analysis for this set of specific data. And the best part, it always made everything super easy, understandable by explaining every single step. You know this probably yourself when you work with ChatGPT just by asking this back and forth questioning, you ultimately get what the statistical method is about, why it's a great fit and so on. So I was really really happy with ChatGPT's help on the theme of data analysis in this context. Now 
let's look at Gemini. I said this at the very beginning of the video that one tool surprised me and that was Gemini because even though it performed so poorly in academic writing, when we now look at data analysis, what I realized is that it's really good in visualization. So it did a great work in visualizing that data and the statistical approaches. I felt like it's really strong in creating these visuals, which is great if you are a visual learner and if you want to understand something through visual concepts, then Gemini really did a great job here. But again, and this is unfortunately a pre-occurring theme with Gemini, when we look at the depth of the information, then again, it just lags. So even in data analysis, it just wasn't deep enough. It just wasn't academic enough to be, you know, it's still on an undergrad level. It's still very basic and it's not something that you can use to then publish something or for your real research data. So the final model, Claude, I mean, as I said, Claude performed really well in academic writing. How did it do in data analysis? No surprise here. Again, clear winner was Claude AI. Why you're going to ask? It basically did everything that ChatGPT also did. Great explanation great um, approaches and strategies for data analysis that, you know, great methods, statistical method that match the data input. But also, and this is amazing, when it comes to like confounding variables and alternative explanations, it did a great job. So quick intro, what is confounding variables? If, if you don't know this, um, this is basically, let's set a simple example about smoking. So one statistic could be like people who have a lighter in their pocket have more lung cancer than people who don't have a lighter in their pocket, okay? So a confounding variable here would be smoking. So obviously the lung cancer risk doesn't increase because of the lighter, but because of the smoking habit. But this is something that, you know, you have to figure out by yourself because you only have that lighter and that lung cancer information. And then you need to think about, oh, this is probably related to smoking. So this is something that Claude AI does really well. It does this critical thinking where it just thinks further and like outside of the box. And this is just amazing to give you the impulses to think more complexly about your data set that you have and help you to get into the, to, to find the right path of your data analysis, basically. What I also love about it is that Claude also discussed methodology limitations and suggested alternatives. So it also knows, okay, like this method of data collection has its limit and you could do these and that alternatives, uh, which is super helpful. So yeah, summing it up, I'd say all three AI models have did a decent job with data analysis. Gemini is good in visuals. ChatGPT, again, great in explaining stuff, setting up statistical approaches and all these things. But again, Claude just, you know, if, if it really comes to it, it just took it a notch further with its critical thinking and all that less of a yes man, but more of a thinking outside of the box answer. So I had to decide I'd give this round to Claude AI again. Let's move on to the third section of our test, literature reviews. Again, AI prompt you can see here, but all I asked these models to do is conduct a literature review on AI in healthcare diagnostics. And the catch here is I wanted to test out how they deal with false information. So in my prompt and in the data that I gave the AI models, I also found fabricated false data and fed that into the prompt and um, yeah, the context. Let's start with Claude AI. So we already know from data analysis and academic writing yeah, that Claude AI does a great job in writing overall. So if we just look at the writing part of the literature review, it's great. The methodologies, finding research gap, putting all that information together in a text, awesome. But here is the catch. When it comes to citations, Claude was only able to generate 40% accurate citations. You know what that means? It means it hallucinated a lot. 40% is only accurate. That means more than every second reference is hallucinated, doesn't exist, which is a big, big no-no for academic writing, for literature reviews in general. So Claude is great if you ask it for stuff that it already knows, like explain this concept to me and stuff like that. But if you wanted to use outside information, like the data bank of information that exists beyond what Claude has, then no like the citations, the accuracy, the references, it hallucinates a lot. When we look at ChatGPT, you will be surprised that 82% of its references were accurate. 82% were not hallucinated, which is very good. But be careful, that still means that one out of every five references is hallucinated with ChatGPT. However, when it comes down to connecting theories and methods with one another and that whole, you know, finding a research grab and critical thinking, again, Claude is better. So the best way I think would be 
be to like combine both things, like get the references list and the citations from ChatGPT and then plug that all in into Claude and let it write and find the gap and these kind of things. But yeah, both have their strengths and weaknesses. A Gemini did something in between. So it hallucinated less than Claude, but more than ChatGPT. And it, when it came down to like writing sophistication, again, it was goodish, not the best, not bad, but as it did with all the tests, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't expect Gemini to be in comparison with ChatGPT and Claude to be so lacking behind for academic research, but that's just what it is. So yeah, for this test, literature review, writing part, Claude is better, finding references and citation part, hallucinating part, ChatGPT is better. So after looking at these three things, what is the final wording? When you have PDFs ready, you have your literature collected, the bam, 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 that's what you have. And you want to create a literature review from that, extract research gaps or methodologies, or you want to look at patterns and structures and these kind of things, then Claude is your go-to tool. Like this, with, with the amount of critical thinking and in-depth analysis that Claude has, it excels both ChatGPT and Gemini. If you're more looking into finding academic references, then ChatGPT has the upper hand here. It hallucinates less, it's better able to like use external data banks, data sources to collect references and hallucinate less. But very important, never trust none of these AI tools for references. You have to always double check. It's just that ChatGPT hallucinates less. It still hallucinates. One pro tip that I have for you that I realized is whatever you write in your ChatGPT prompt for academic writing or research and so ever, at this little sentence, think deeper about this behind the prompt. And this will already make ChatGPT think deeper about the problem that you suggested. So it stops and thinks a while before giving you like this superficial answer that you don't need. You need that in-depth answer for your academic research, right? So this one sentence already does a lot. Think deep about this. Try it out. And then for academic writing, I'd say both ChatGPT and Claude are good. So if you already have a ChatGPT Pro membership, then just stick to ChatGPT. It's just that Claude has a bit more academic edge in terms of depth and sophistication of its answers, but it's not like that ChatGPT is here and Claude is there. It's a minor gap between these two models. All right, and with that, we're coming towards the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I found it very interesting doing these experiments and I was very surprised by the visual strength of Gemini that I did not expect. And I didn't expect that Claude would hallucinate so much because I'm using Claude a lot these days and I trust it a lot. So I was surprised to see that ChatGPT hallucinates less than Claude does. Nevertheless, We've seen both the strengths and weaknesses of all these three models and I think you'll probably got some value out of this video. If you like this video then make sure to leave a like, comment, share this video with anyone who you think would profit a lot by watching this. And if you haven't done so already check out my Instagram channel where I share daily bite-sized piece academic tips that you will profit from too. Stay safe wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!